logistics at the end, I think. So he got some really good economy to start. Yep. John, John did. So did we get the infamous on Graham's side? I think infamous is what he'd be looking for. So I assume I didn't hear the time call, but I'm guessing they. I guess we did it just over there. So the opponent opts to go with secret facility again and take shields. Or actually, I missed two rolls a little bit, but we have shields on us now. Yes. Yeah, Han's always a daunting one to go for first because he has such survivability. You feel like you're beating a head against a wall while the other character gets away with it. Um, so shield on snap is, I think, is pretty standard play. Old Buster rolls in, gets a dollar. Always good to see at the beginning. I think that based on the power of the dice, uh, Graham probably elected the Kevin Cruiser Chamber was not going to be that great and could potentially be more disruptive to him than it would be disruptive to John. Potentially. With Hand and Infamous, I'm sure he's faster. So a dice every round versus two shields. Like I said, I think it's a toss-up. Um, the problem is if John takes it away from him, it, it slows him down. Yeah. Him. So John quickly spends the dollar, sh the snap showing two disrupt to get his uh, lightsaber up, which unfortunately was a blank for him. But with the aftermath, no, I think he's pretty happy with his turn so far. Uh, now some serious economy. We have a jetpack on uh, Han. Jetpack on Han is strong. Uh, no resource. No resource debate for the doll. Uh, no res oh, one resource showing in snap. Yep, so that's a, a solid 0, 05 damage. Reroll of Night Sister <laughs> into, into same thing. So I think, I mean, Night Sister is just going to reroll it again. I think you take that damage, right? There's either control card option, Night Sister reroll. I think you. It's just a matter of where you're going to put it. Yeah. So, oh, six, six. Okay. rolled into more. There so, was not a debate about where it <laughs> So the, the United Sister was so punished. Uh, I still think Bala might have been not a bad choice either, because, oh, John didn't take the dollar for Aftermath, I don't think. That one's an opportunity. Yeah, that's, that's a... that's a. Uh, it's too disruptive. Well, anyway. Oh, it was off the screen? He, well, he didn't have... I don't think he had a resource before that. Yeah. We're just six there with the die, pick two. Nice. Use the other. again. So there's no, not even a chance for claiming. Oh, sorry, now there is. Snap, the dice are gone. Overwrite, IQA. I mean, FN rarely claims <laughs> too soon anyway. He's got weapons to play. So, in comes the IQA. Which happens with the IQA, certainly, this time. Oh. Rolls in FN. <laughs> oh, gets the base damage. Very lucky roll in on the single side for base damage. The turn up would, would have been a, you know, a good economy turn, but a poor damage turn into, yeah. into something pretty good. And still just like a mitt full of weapons. That's a lot of his weapons. <laughs> like, you know, a third of his weapons maybe in the first hand. And a lot of them hitting the bin. More, oh wow. Very nice rerolls for John. So those red uh, conquest tokens are three damage each. Yeah. With six damage on Han. And of course Graham takes the battlefield after that damage. Yeah, which is, you know, I can totally see why he's got the he's got the upgrade. He's the one that's gonna be annoying later on. I mean, I assume Graham's running second chance. Can he find it, right? Or can he find enough ambush? Is. Can he there he is, he just pulled the second chance. Yeah, so I would imagine that's gonna go down pretty quick. Because FN could just roll something in and kill him. So It's a pretty, it's pretty risky not to be putting it down. I know four life seems like a lot, but oh, he, he overdrew, so John's gonna get rid of one. At least you guys know each other. You know, gentleman way to handle it makes perfect sense. No need to call a judge, I don't think. Well, I think the judge is reviewing the match. So, yeah. Oh, Jen is beside the table. Yeah. yeah. He didn't hit the second chance, which I think is something that he really didn't want to see get hit. Ram rolling in Han. Oh. I mean, one flamethrower could end it. But he opts to flank instead. Makes some sense.
Thousand. Okay, interesting. I mean, he's looking at a one and six. I mean, that's you know, it's a big it's a big blowout if he can hit it, but he also doesn't know that he has doesn't have a second chance. Now he can play a second chance flat if he wants, yeah. which is I think what he intends. Yeah. This is a disruptive get two the two of Johnson. Yeah, sources. and here it could Ooh. could be bad. Oh, it wow. is bad. Horrible. Oh my God. What a turn on one dice. What a turn of events. So Graham noticeably upset. I don't blame him. It's huge. It's, it's a risk. Like, you know there are yeah. multiple upgrades that can yeah. come in. And I mean, now, when, I think when there's only one that them. can do four. There's only one that can do four. No, the rocket launcher. A rocket launcher, sorry, you're right. But he wouldn't... Yeah, you're right. No, totally wrong. I'm right. There's two, yeah, so... So the infamous at th this point, I'm not sure. I... Makes you a little quicker, but you're already quick, right? I mean, it is such a long shot. And the, I mean, overriding the jetpack would have been pretty uh, disruptive. Like it, it it, yeah, it would have cut your damage significantly, yeah. right? And your potential for shields, a lot of things. I, I understand it, but as soon as he had three, I, was the disrupt worth it? I don't know. Again, playing the odds. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Throws away the second chance in disgust. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's extre extremely unlikely now. <laughs> Chad, I would agree. <laughs> that was a huge... Oh, with a, with a boundless just on top of it. I guess John wants to put him out of his misery as, as, as quickly as possible. Let's, um... The big thing here is whether Graham's going to kind of be able to calm down, focus on the next few yeah, games. Yeah, that's true. I think you're right. I think you just... Avoiding tilt is probably the best thing now. So, play this out. Don't think about it. I mean, it was just such a turn of events. I mean, he got the dollar from the bound from the aftermath too to play the boundless off the kill. Oh, Bala rolls in for another base damage. Like Bala is on fire this game. No resources to spend, but hey, let's just keep. All right, rolling. that was FN last time, but the base damage has just been hitting like crazy. Snaps hanging in there. Never say die, I guess. So he's just waiting to take the damage so he can play the field medic that turn. Right. But I mean, yeah. On the other hand, things like the defensive positions and the dug ins, it might have been worth just running into the next round with the damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I, I like like say, you know, they, you're right. You pointed out there was two weapons. There was four cards with one in six chance of killing you. Like it. You know, the odds, it, it was a good odds play, but at the same time, I don't know if waiting was worth the risk. Like, waiting wasn't that painful. So you you lose your upgrade, you, you get rid of a die. No, when he had three. When he had three, he disrupted. So disrupt's oh. not a bad idea, but... No, I think he got... He took, he took, the he, he took them because he used it for boundless. He had one that he used for the melee weapon, uh, uh, for the flamethrower, then he used one for the boundless off the aftermath. Well, snap's a rich snap. You can die rich. Claim, so he's dead. <laughs> well, it was the next round, Travis. <laughs> oh no, it was. No. Yeah, it was the very next round. He field medic off damage, extra damage. This is the same man. No, sorry, that's what I meant. Han died and then Snap died the next round. Oh yeah, because oh, I forget, keep hearing those the red. Yeah, ones. they were fairly long rounds <laughs> because of all the bounces. No, no, I, I thought it was two damage, not. Uh, yeah. yeah. So oh, right, yeah. I didn't think it oh, was that you close. Oh, you didn't know there were the threes, yeah. Okay, so the question is, how quickly are we going to see the second chance go down in this game? That's pretty quick, I bet. Did you want to commentate, Tricker? Did you want to commentate? Do you want to?
Okay, so we're going to quickly go into the second round. I mean, Glenn, Graham's played a lot of games. He's played a lot of Magic. I'm sure he's able to shake it off. I mean, if you play Destiny, you got to know the dice can just go against you like that. Um, it's pretty disheartening, but uh, I think he's uh, ready, for round, ready for game two and ready to go. He gets the choice of Battlefield. I think he's chosen the Shields again um, on FN. I'm uh, sorry, on uh, Snap. So we definitely saw in that previous round that there, there's definitely a path here for for Han and Snap. I think it, it matches up reasonably oh, well. Absolutely, I think I think there is. I mean, he, he didn't play any ambushes that game, so, so Han was at his base yeah. ten, which is rough. He, he didn't get the second chance off. I, I think that game is is not at all indicative of this matchup. I think this deck has a lot of survivability. I mean, you survive with one second chance, you can get the second second chance, like. And just keep pumping out the damage with the well, pretty good hand sides. The, the big thing for, for Graham is the the two disarms to try to yep. screw with the chain of FN to place. Yes, there's a lot of there's a lot of money cards in this battle deck. Like it's like a little bit of control, lots of weapons and money. Um, so I, I think it can, but giving up that damage is always rough with the sun. Like. You know, to get rid of a rack control baton, you gotta give up three damage. That's that's rough. Yeah, the the pace of pay is pretty fast. Um, it can be tough to follow. We'll try to catch most of the plays and let you guys know what's happening. Yeah. And when you see a lot of dice get resolved, uh, at least it could it could be the battlefield too. Yeah, and you know, you're not hearing the, the table commentary, so they indicate a lot of their actions verbally, I think. John does more pointing than, than Graham does, but... Um... Believe me, commentating uh, can be a little rough at this pace, too. <laughs> yes. Well, particularly when you have a couple people, you're trying not to step on each other, and uh, but you're trying to make sure you cover all the action. Well, we do it for you guys. Yeah. All for you. So okay, so only one uh, only one upgrade in John's hand, so that rifle's only one upgrade. The enrage is always nice to see really early. It's about the only time to see it. Um, so one damage on Han removes the shield. The other one uh, resolving that rifle special, and he gets the uh, he gets a redeploy early, which is not ideal, especially not, and that's not the best upgrade to see early because, I mean, in this particular configuration, you're not so uh, you have some more base sites than say Funkar. Yeah, uh, so not too bad, but can be hard to resolve. So a special is really good to see. Oh, uh, the first game was won by Night Sister, Bala, uh, FN. Oh, snap rolls in again. Blanks on snap, not the worst thing in the world because you're going to sit one dice there for quite a while, but it's not fun either. More money, not rolls in Han. A little bit better there. Solid on Han, yeah, because he can. Doesn't have the dollar to spend, but that's still some damage. Oh, it doesn't have the dollar to spend. Oh, yeah. Kind of interesting. He uses the enrage. Uh, we'll see if uh, Graham's gonna. Oh, he can enrage. Disrupt he's setting up for the boundless turn. Right? He's got a boundless in hand. So he's got a logistics too. Like it's a really good setup for a boundless. Yeah. Guards a planetary uprising for reroll. Okay, whoa, gets gets some nice. Uh, gets a damage on the night sister. Take advantage of her ability to reroll there. Money. Graham opting to play a little bit longer game. No reroll takes the money, which makes sense. He wants to make sure. He, well, he, he has. Yeah, he's got to get upgrades. Hand. Oh, he disarms. Inch, nice play. Off the off the off the. Uh, Modified side, which wasn't going to help him at all. Ooh, it's gonna which will take a lot of bite out of this um, turn with um, with the boundless for sure. Because I, I didn't see any two cost upgrades in his hand. But Bala comes up with the dollar, so Bala's rolling oh, really solid. The other two, so after the boundless. Oh wow! So he had zero. Left. Excellent. Yeah, he's zero left. That is really nice. Really good play on Graham's side. Really solid with use of the dice. Knowing the matchup, not going you know straight for damage. Logistics obviously helps a lot there. But I still don't know if I see any... Oh, he's got another balance. <laughs> this could have been just an awful turn, which I think Graham's played really well to not. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I think I'd say a rocket. Uh, say this guy is a rocket to the time, rough. So this was damage on Han. The three da damage total. Be two extra on him. So that red uh, red damage token it represents three damage. Let me go to the end of the round. So yeah, as you can, as you can see, like Graham's certainly made some really good plays here to keep this in a much better position. I mean, we're going into round two with FM with no weapons. Sure, John's got three, so he's going to be starting putting them on, but he's stopping the FM chain one turn early and oh, hits the second round. Control baton rolls in. Certainly, a lot of money coming up on dice for John. Not a lot of damage done. Looks like, except for the Night Sister. <laughs> to, uh, oh, lots of disruption. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. I don't know if I don't know if uh, if uh, John's gonna be getting six resources anytime soon. But if he did, no endless ranks for him. No. Yeah, it didn't take a grand long to uh, disprove me on the on my uh, doubt of disarm <laughs> off the base rate of the modified. That's another resource. A lot of disrupt, a lot of money. It's starting to look like a fun car versus fun car match here. Nice, she comes in with some more disrupt. So what was the discard for reroll? It looks like. Uh, no, can't be beaten. Switch. Couldn't tell. Okay, solid reroll. Yeah, Night Sister. Again, again, causing problems. More money is not what he. Oh, well, more money is I, not bad. Yeah, but that's six, six, six with two more coming next turn. That, that's that's going to be well, two second, second chance. Contrary yeah. uprising. Yeah. And still, and still a dollar to do something else. It's true. Gives you a good, a good board position, but. Han's got seven damage, right? I mean, yeah, with second chance, yeah, that's true. For seven life, I mean, he has seven life, yes. three damage. Got to remember though, the, those to those tokens, the red ones are threes. I think he's green for ones. So Bala just doing work, still coming in with base. And an electro shot that yeah, to fit right the right hunt. Overwrites the racket control baton? Okay, because yeah, FN's not the target, so he doesn't necessarily need the redeploy. Oh, well, we don't really have a target yet. The only, I think the only damage is Night Sister beating herself up. Right. So he wants to make sure he gets the claim, so he's like, is John going to claim if I use my disrupt or is he going to keep doing stuff? I don't think he's going to leave the two damage and a resource on the table. But if John used the claim, it would have been the same thing. He would have lost the dollar. Right. And not done the damage, so that's an interesting choice because John claims he doesn't do two damage and loses a dollar. So now he can he can claim to avoid two damage, or he can put more damage on and reroll. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we we'll proc the uh, planetary uprising there. Yeah. But he's got three damage showing, so he can pop the uh, he can pop the second chance. Which is pretty significant. It puts Pan back into range next turn, right? Another balance, yeah. Let's see, see. IQ. He's got, IQ, he's got, I think he's got one more, he's got another flamethrower, I think, for two potential. Yeah, we'll make sure that it doesn't make the next round there, Alfredo. Yeah. That he, Alfredo's pointing out that the Raya Baton guys shouldn't be on F anymore, that it's been overridden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Night Sister knows her job. Yeah, he's going for, I mean, there's two sides on the. Oh, well, he doesn't have money, so I don't know if there's only one side on the IQA he really wants. But. Yeah. 
So Graham's already passed, opts to do one dice, <laughs> one range of damage before she dies, I guess. Try again. So you can see how much like disruption the Night Sister's been, because Han has done no damage. Like that, there's been no damage done other than planetary and Night Sister hitting herself. Right. <laughs> IQ has no resource costs. Is that true? Oh, you're right. I apologize. Yes. Yeah, I'm the special too. You're right. Yep. There's four damage he needs to finish off Han's uh, second chance. Yep. But expended a you know a lot of resources and dropped down an upgrade, right? He has enough money to go up again, but drop down an upgrade to do it. Uh, yeah. So, let's see, what does Graham do? Graham managed to get the second second chance? No. Uh, two defensive positions and the battlefield. Uh, less impactful versus FN, certainly, but can still help. But yeah, the FNs does not have the big pile of upgrades we've seen in previous games. So quite a different complexion. Han finally deciding to do some damage on his own. Fiber knife overriding the hold up last turn. Not, not the best side. Okay, then comes the F11D to override that. On the ambush, uh, another blue side. It's double blue sides in a row. Although that's a much, much more welcome blue side. Oh, again we see disarm. Yeah. Knocking him down to zero upgrades. Wow. So Graham's game game plan in this matchups, executing exactly like he wants. A zero upgrade FN in the third round is unheard of almost. With John having no upgrades to play, I don't think. He has the IQ in his hand, but he doesn't have it. Well, now he has an upgrade. So. Uh, where did that be played? Oh. Yeah. Still got the dice. <laughs> John notices, gets rid of the baton. Money machine keeps rolling the money. Yeah. Money so FN rolls and gets to disrupt on the IQA, not probably what he was hoping for, but you know, some more money to fuel the shenanigans, never bad. Flanks out of play right now. But there's not a lot of targets either. So John could claim to avoid the, the planetary uprising damage, but that costs him two resources effectively. So he opts to do it. So he, he, he thought it was worth two resources to avoid the two damage. But two, uh, doesn't have the defensive position. Doesn't have the up. And bounced up with two shields and didn't take a mu very much further damage that turn. So pretty solid. So Han, we're looking at being on effectively five life left, which is at least can not have another melee, another flamethrower disaster. But yet. Fiber knife comes in. Ah, John rolls in for a blank. He's going to use the ambush action for what exactly? He can overwrite the IQA if he wants, but he opts not to. He's got a lot of base damage sides. I mean, he's got Bowser's base damage sides and FN's one. Fast hands comes out on Han for the first time. Which is useful, I think, um, 
but again, we've talked about how kind of lack of control cards in that deck, uh, FM deck, but it still never hurts. Zero cost upgrade, can't really go wrong. Oh, nice drop in of the lightsaber for two unblockable, two of those hand shields with the vibro knife out. So we're now up to seven. Uh -huh. I think given the shields, um, I'm still in okay shape this turn, but still teetering. Has a real hard time putting any kind of damage roll together with Han. Yeah. Fast stands out to one of the resources. I mean, he was stymied a lot by the Night Sister in his first rounds. That is one angry, big snap now. Getting, getting the DL44, and gets another shield, which is going to help him with any damage Bala puts out. <coughs> Income snap, to make the claim painful. I wonder how many cards John has left at this point, actually. He balanced twice. Yeah, 10 maybe? Would be my guess. Something like that. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I doubt he has even 10 left. <coughs> I don't know if a mills, like there's no active way to mill, so I, do, I just can't see that happening. I mean, other than he did it to himself through rerolls, like trying to, trying to win, but. Graham discards to reroll. Clutch flank. So, yeah, this goes to hold out to reroll. Yeah, why well, keep the disrupt? I mean, you're gonna disrupt by the claim. So, oh, gets the base he needs on snap of all people. Way to go, snap. <laughs> Forget Han. Snap enables. <coughs> so I mean, that's what six, six, and then two from the claim. If he gets, you know, if John doesn't take it, so that I mean, a I lot of he's health is left. Oh, he can play now, right? John can, yeah. No, can't grab, claim. No, no. no. Uh, John can claim, but he, he'll have to leave again a shield and a resource on the table to do it, right? That's worth your damage. A, a shield and a resource? I don't know if a shield and a resource is worth two damage. I mean, a shield's worth one damage. Yes. And a resource is worth so one resource for one damage. Oh. Yeah, we did two resources for two damage this last turn. I know. Yeah. I, I, I'm saying it, it's not an auto. It's not an auto decision, depending on what you got in your hand. I think. Like being at three resources is really nice for that deck. There's a lot of three cost weapons, right? Being at two, much less nice. <laughs> I mean, you're all over right anyway, but. All right. I, I assume that putting a card that direction, is, this is a hit and run. So we got a redeployed lightsaber. I mean, obviously FN became the target. Uh, did, I, did I see the uh, second second chance in his hand? I believe so. I think I saw it, but it's hard to tell with the chat overlay. So does John have another? I think he discarded. I don't think he has any redeploys left. That are three cost. I mean, I don't. Th I think both of my control protons are gone. Although I might see one in his hand. I might be thinking of last game. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, in. So that's really nice to see, right? He can overwrite and get two redeploys over to Vala, which is huge. Fast hands uh, another damage. Fast hands the damage. Nice. So that's the in a FN. So fast hands definitely makes a fool out of me. Very useful that time before we can get another redeploy on that character or another FN activation. Looking pretty good for uh, pretty good for Graham, I think. <laughs> I mean, we're field medic action, so he's got eight. I mean, he's got 16 effective hit points to six. That's huge, right? What is that? Oh, friends and I places. Okay, sorry, friends and I places. Too. More to Bala. Opposite flamethrower the lights. Yeah, with no base, with no base melee. I can, yeah, no, that makes sense. 
I was just thinking for a reroll potential, but. Okay, Bala hits some nice damage. I mean, we can go six with a rocket launcher. I mean, and the Bala modifier and the focus, that's pretty sweet. That's eight damage showing up Bala. It's a dead snap, but it's also, also a dead Han. Just enough for a dead Han. So, is there any answer? Oh, oh two shields, because it's mixed in. Oh no, secret facility. Huh. No, it's, if you secret facility, you can't um, you can't uh, resolve the damage because you got to pay the dollar to claim. So you can't pay for the four. So you can take the shields in between because he has to mix to resolve it. No, he just kills Han. No, Han could take two shields after he takes the damage. No, but this fatal. It's not. No, it's mixed damage, and you can't claim and you can't claim and do the. Oh, sorry. You can't claim and do the rocket launcher. You only oh, have sorry, it's only six damage. Sorry, yeah. my bad. No, six damage is enough to kill him. No, no, it's not. No, not with the two shields showing. It was a really I, interesting situation. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of Graham's scheme for damage. I yeah. keep getting confused it's, about how much it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, you, so yeah, I, thought, you, I thought it was showing seven. Yeah. So, yeah, Graham is showing five damage, three shields. It's a really interesting conundrum. I Oh, he's gonna go that way. Oh, we also into the two shields. That was a really good, that was a really good doubt target though, for sure. Takes the two shields on snap. Okay, that was interesting because. So grand claims, then doing another two damage to Bala. Oh, okay. Yeah, into the claim. Yep. Right, because he can't handle the claim. That's the thing. Yep. He's dead on the claim. That's fine, but Bala readies here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the two shields went to snap. It was... So he just basically, can I survive 10 damage? So far, he can. Got four, six is not six is not possible out of those dice. All right, that's it. Yeah. So draw up Graham insta claims and the planetary uprising <laughs> damage will be fatal. So it's tied up, one game apiece. They're going to go into the third uh, match. Very interesting. And, uh, will, will Graham be able to do decide. the or dis is it to disarm game plan again or not? We'll see. Yeah. Very interesting game. Very well played by both players. Yeah, no, very good points in uh, in chat. They had a shield would have changed that equation a lot. Um, shield would have changed it, but I mean, he rolls in Han and oh, Han was dead, so he could oh, sorry, roll in snap. But snap still, snap still had a like a, um, a DL forty four, his own damage, free rolls. Yeah, it certainly would have given it a much more of a chance. AK greater than zero, <laughs> so yes, a shield would have mocked him. All right, it looks like we just uh, cracked 100 viewers between uh, YouTube and Twitch. So thank you for coming out and joining us today for uh, Star Wars Session, Canadian National Champion. That cannot pronounce words today, apparently. <laughs> uh, but we're at, at the top eight point now. Um, we'll be covering Destiny in its entirety in terms of the top cut. After that, we'll be joining uh, the Netrunner uh, top eight. In progress, so probably coming in after the first two rounds, and we'll have the rest of that for you today. Tomorrow we'll be covering the X Wing Top Cut. They'll be doing Top 16, so that'll be starting uh, like 10:30, 11. It's on the schedule. Uh, you can see in the, in the comments or in the description, um, and then we'll finish off with the Armada Finals tomorrow evening. Oh, sorry. Yeah, honestly, I didn't mean a zero for. Better than zero for Snap. I, I meant the um, a better than zero for the for John G. Uh, <laughs> that if he could come up with a shield, he'd at least get a turn, right? Like not a great chance to win, but still, instead of getting the one hundred percent chance of claim and dying, that's what I meant. I should have clarified.
Yeah, the, the new X-Wing round must have just started because suddenly the room is a lot quieter. Quiet. Okay, another good, a very good economic start for John G. Uh, he's got the aftermath, I saw a rage in there, and I saw a, a logistics. Now, not much, not many upgrades to, obviously, if you have that many cards, economy, and not many upgrades to uh, spend it on, but I think all that money would be welcome in the subsequent rounds, for sure. And a flank to deal with anything that uh, is particularly scary in the first round. So, really good card start for John. Um, or one of the two very good card starts that a FN player can have. You can have a lot of upgrades too. So hit and run there to roll in. Uh, snap. Snap. Gets the shield on Han as a result. <laughs> so it's interesting that John has switched targets in this game. It was uh, high in the last two games as first target. And now I, I think he's maybe a little less confident in his ability to do early damage, given his yeah. hand. So he's going to opt for snap. So it really, you know, heads up play by John to look at your hand, look at the situation, and uh, adapt your gameplay. Best hands on Han. Mm -hmm. Rolling in FN, uh, seeing the paid damage side. So yeah, so that's John, more damage that's going to go around the shields because of the vibro uh, yep. knife. Because of the vibro. Yep. Fast hands to resolve the resource right away. Mm -hmm. I think also John is thinking like, let's kill Snap. Snap's going to die whatever happens. Han can hang out for longer because of the second chances. Absolutely. So yeah, the shields, but... But yeah, if he doesn't think he can put enough damage in quickly, then then it can happen like last game where he just takes several turns to kill him. I think this is a good lineup play. And also, sense. Snap was forcing him into awkward situations with the planetary uprising. So, and he's uh, gonna put a good deal of damage into him this turn. Uh, he has the money to fuel that two for one. Shields are gonna go away. So, look at uh, you know, Snap on three. But Han's already got a hold up blast, just so you know. Although, with Knight, as you can see, Night Sister's got six ways, to six, six chances to <laughs> take some shots at him, uh, get rid of those base damages, which is why maybe Gary might be happier to see the hold up than the uh, than the jetpack this time. Right. Oh, the two Graham, shields were certainly yeah. instrumental. Okay, I see planetary coming for for Graham. So that's always nice to see early. Not as wealthy as he's been, but no. still, might be worth just putting out. Because he's still got the, definitely the claim advantage. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess that was not quick enough for the disarm. Yeah. Nice, nice roll to come in with no money on the, on the melee weapon, for sure. Pumping snap up to five damage. So, again, one, one weapon over right from death. Better get him in. I don't know, is Bala rolled a blank yet in any of these matches? I'm just so impressed by Bala this time around. Usually it's just that, you know, <laughs> blanks and plus twos all day. Uh, the jetpack, uh -huh. Jetpack, so he opts for the jetpack over the uprising. See that, I think just go for pure burst damage. Plays uh, dug in? No, he no. Couldn't, couldn't have been a dug in. How'd he get all the shields? So did anyone in chat see how he got those shields? I've never run into that card. Oh, that one, faint. Okay. No, 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 it's not this. That's not me. No. Okay, so Graham opting to uh, take some money off of his... Uh... Hold on, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think...
Oh, move the shields. Hold on. Thank you. Hold on. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, makes a lot of sense in the stack. Thank you, chat. I didn't see the card going in there. So Aftermath out on John's side. He rolls into, you know, pretty poor pan uh, jetpack roll there. Two chances for re-rolls here. I mean, he might be thinking of using the Electroshock for something else, so limited chances for re-rolls. Sitting on a ton more Disrupt than he needs. Let's see, we got uh, four damage, which would not be enough to kill Snap. Certainly, so certainly. Ground passes. John rerolls to pull his dice. Another damage. He got up to five, getting closer, but he needs another one. Here's the electro shot. Yeah. Getting a little too close for comfort, I think. Overwrites. Some money. Not terrible, but. He's going to leave it out there to reroll. Leave it, leave it for the reroll. But oh, I guess, yeah, lightsaber is two sides. No, he has no money, so it is. Oh, Bow is showing one money. A little awkward, though. John's going to taunt us by not removing his dice that he overrode again. Uh oh. The villain of the piece. So, Nightsaber's still got a, you know, a lot of potential for re rolls. I don't know how, yeah, yeah. John's gonna start utilizing that. On the, yeah, you can leave the lightsaber dollar. Oh. Oh no, Bala's let me down. After all this hyping him up. Oh, oh gets. Now he's sitting on four, five. Still not the kill. But <laughs> nice sister's got some more punching in her. Oh yeah. On uh, the lightsaber? Yeah, maybe the lightsaber, maybe Bala. I don't know where that dice damage exactly comes from. Too unblockable on the lightsaber, sure, but. Besides, just to take resource and grab things. Oh, there we go. Overwrite. Yeah, pretty good chance of hitting something. No. Yeah, he's. he's, he's there, go. there we go. He can even split it up a little bit, do a little less. Extra to, uh, and I think one maybe? Uh -huh. Yep. I think one over from him. And while that activates, which is huge. Oh, well, no rerolls. Okay. Not I was glad he had hit the three damage, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, he had a plus two, right? He has a base. Oh, he does have the base, right? Yeah, nice so he has a play there. not to use it, of course. I mean, he had time, there was no reason to. So that's a big turn from John. Absolutely. Um, yeah, pulled off the, seven damage when it was looking like he had much less. The red damage tokens are three and the greens are one. He's got a lot of resources. I mean, of course, we have a very large Han, or a, a growing Han to deal with here, but, you know, he's got no shields on him. He's got no second chance. I see one in Graham's hand, though, so one will be coming down. But he does have a lot of life he has to go through. He has to go through 21 life. It's a tall measure. Some more damage in hand. Thank you, A. Yeah. That was six damage on Han now. Time for a second chance. Yeah. Ops would be overwrite. Overwrite with four, re four resources. I guess he wants to get the planetary down. I guess he has to get the planetary down this turn. Yeah, I'm serving money for the planetary because that's going to be... But does he have enough rounds for the planetary to make that much of a difference? Oh, hits another special on the, on the IQ. That's double specials. Big damage. Field medics. So Han is sitting on six with a second chance after another IQA hit. Another, another field medic. medic. Using those resources. Oh, is there a second second chance? Disrupt. He hit it. Wow, a second game where Night Sister disrupt is huge. Discard. Discard. Sorry. Discard. 
to take out the yeah, so the only one second chance for Han. Oh, Lala, doing tremendous work, another three. Not looking great for Grand Yeah, it's suddenly over this last turn in this one, because now the, the Riot Control Baton could potentially, and then we got a, a Boundless, and he's got the money for it. Second yep. question, nice well, for, and for the resource, which is pretty big to use when you after the balance. Uh, what do we got? Another riot control baton. Doubt zone dice. Get some damage. Now we're looking at five. More than enough to pop the second chance. Yeah, so Han will be heading in with no hope of a second chance. And... Oh, sorry, I thought it was enough to... Oh, did I miss? Maybe not. Although, with no other second chance coming, I don't know if popping the second chance is that important. Because you don't want to have to overkill. What was a reroll? Sorry. Yeah, which is effectively the same thing, I guess. <coughs> Well, you don't get to resolve it right away. Yep, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, it's much worse. I, if you could dodge your own dice, I guess it could be like uh, unpredictable, almost. You resolve it right away. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we got a three life Han digging out for any control cards. Yeah, that's gonna. That's not. <coughs> Cast hands disrupt. He's got the money to pay for some damage, so and Bala just keeping on, keeping on, because he can focus FN into the into a base side there. Deals four damage for three through the shield with FN. He's going to start leveraging his ability to try to get uh, some uh, extra shields. Uh, do you have extra shock? The I think you'd electro shock the focus, which effectively takes out two dice. All right, we'll go to fix that. Oh, yeah, not having. Yeah, wow. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out, chat. That's pretty huge. <laughs> Two shields is... No, it won't save him, but certainly uh, it's, it's a huge, much bigger swing than it should be. Absolutely. Planetary goes down for the extra damage. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and he took the shields too. I think? No. No, he doesn't have the shields. He took away the shields. No he damage. Removed the shields, yes. Yeah. No, wasn't there two on the. Okay. Claims for damage. Yeah, the only problem is we're not very good common hairs when we're going and running over to the table. <laughs> yes, we're leaving a little, you guys a little more silent. Uh, but, you know, look, very good players and their actions speak for themselves. Yeah, there's a there's judges at the table, so we're working with them to uh, deal with getting safe at the table. All right, so rocket launcher uh, with one damage on Bala. Could do it. Oh, yeah, this would definitely be the kill. 
Yeah. We're also involved in running the event, so technically we well, we yeah, do have balance for, uh, an appropriate role. Oh, balance to for a single games. reroll? Oh, yeah, he needs the dollar. Sorry, he needs the dollar. We can't balance. Gets it. Gets there. So he's at eight. Okay. Hello, Antonio. Glad you're uh, tuning in today. Let's see what, if anything, Grand can pull off. Um, so we have, should be four. Um, sure. How do you have the one shield? More fast hands. More fast hands. <laughs> No, sorry. Was, no, no, my fault. It wasn't the four kill again. I I mixed up the uh, different colors as well. That when I said four, it was it was actually significantly more. Six, I think. Fast hands, damage and resource. So yeah. Don't be friends from low places. So hold on. It's only a vet in his hand. Or yeah, close enough. Uh, rolls in, another solid roll on the rocket launcher, uh, inching even closer to death. Because Han is currently at eight damage, those are th the reds are threes, and two shields. So, ten, ten damage, uh, four damage for the kill. In comes the DL44, obviously, the shield is the choice. We wish you could have been here at the event too, Gaming Noise. Uh, thank you for the compliments on the screen. We've been uh, doing a lot of work behind the scenes. So yeah, he plays the outmaneuver and gets you some economy, but I'm sure he just played it for the shield off of Miss. Oh no, the deal, yeah, played the shield off of Miss. So now you don't always see it getting used for one shield. And Bala, oh my god, Bala is a superstar. Bala's a Bala. And he's, he's a Bala, he's a Bala, oh my goodness. Plays DL44 over DL44, which is a solid play. Definitely saves two life, is huge. And a shield? There's a rocket launcher. Did he get a shield for that second? There we go. Uh, good games by both players. Yeah. I think uh, Graham had a bit of uh, poor luck, but uh, it, w it was great play.